Hi guys, how you doing? I hope everyone's keeping well, safe and well actually, in this uh, difficult time. We're on uh, checkmypba.com today to see if we can try reclaiming some money back for a missile package bank account. Now, what I'm trying to do uh, today is, is <clears throat> just show how simple and easy it is to check if you've had a, a missile package bank account and if you may be entitled to some money back from the banks. Um, so far, fairly straightforward. You can see the average refund is uh, £1,211.26. That was over a set period uh, by 111 customers. Uh, some interesting um, figures there. £9,479.36 reclaimed, at highest reclaim for a customer. And that was in January 2021. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is is select a bank. So I'll just um, I'll just pick any bank really. W which bank would you prefer? Let's let's just first one there, Lloyd's Bank. Okay, so these are just some generic uh, details I'm going to be putting in here now. Mister, okay, let's use an alias name just for the purpose of this recording. So we can have Mister Joe. Blocks. If it's not Joe Blocks, it's Gordon Bennett. But uh, yeah, let's put the address for Coban Solutions. Haha, there we are. Okay, again, uh, we're just putting in a random date of birth to give you an idea. And Mr. Joe Blocks can be. Date of birth, 1945. Okay, we'll put a telephone number in for the sake of this, and this will be Coban's number, 161 641 5396. Or Coban as well, info at cbn-sol.co.uk. Okay, so there's terms of engagements there. I'll have a read of those, make sure you do read them. Let's start my PBA claim. Okay, so great news. You could have a claim, blah blah blah. Um, okay, do you have any previous names? Nope. Do you have any previous addresses? Nope. But I'm sure if I clicked yes, it would take me there. Okay, and now it's asking me to click here to sign. So let's have a sign. Okay, so. Oh, whoops, what's happened here? Looks. Let's save that. Oh, nice. It's not too bad. Okay, so was this ever a joint account? Nope, it was a single account. I agree to the terms of engagement. I need to have a read of them. Done. Okay, so now it's asking me Have I ever uh, previously claimed before? No, I haven't. Okay, what are the last three numbers of your package bank account and sort code optional? Okay, providing this information can speed up the process in locating the account. We only require the last three digits of the account, so the account number. So I don't really want to give, <coughs> excuse me, all my bank details. It's asking me for the last four numbers, which I'm going to trust them because it does seem like, a, oops, what have I done here? It does seem like a trustworthy website. Um, 5567 and the sort code. I'm just going to put a random sort code in here, 12, 34, 56, <coughs> um, or I can just put in, can't remember my last three digits, so go back to the site, okay, so I'm going to press next. When I first had the package bank account, did I have any issues with my health, either mentally or physically, thank God, no. Did the bank ever carry out a health fact find at the point of sale prior to recommending the package bank account? I don't remember, so nope. Have you ever been subject to any type of financial difficulty? Uh, thank God, no. Please let which of the related, which of these related to your financial difficulties, you can select multiple options. Okay, so, I mean, who hasn't, but just for the sake of it, let's have a look. I'm gonna just randomly Putting paid it loans. Ah, can't be a full time student, more than 94. Well, I can do. Yep, yep, Mr. Job Loss can. Multiple lines of credit. 
Next, did you receive any documentation from the bank explaining the, the account fees and benefits in detail? I'm going to put down yes, I did. Were all of the exclusions and limitations of the benefits explained to me? I'm going to put yes, there were. Were you told or was it made clear to you that you had to register the insurance or products in order to qualify for the cover? I'm going to put down for this no. This is no shape or form to give you any guidance of what you should be answering and shouldn't be answering. This is strictly um, on your experience, so please don't use the same answers that I'm doing. Um, were you told that you had to have the package bank out in order to obtain an, any overdraft? I'm going to put down no. We advised it would increase your chance of being accepted for the other product if you took out a package bank account more than a credit card. I'm going to put down yes for this. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just do yes, no, yes, no. So let's do no for this one. Um, let's do yes for this one. Let's do by post. Um, did you want to drive a car? I'm going to put down no. Did you want a smartphone? I'm going to put down yes. Were all of the account holders registered with the doctor? You can't want to put down no. Were you a full-time student? I'm going to put down, well, I've already said I'm not a student, so I'm going to tick no on this one. Was your main address outside of the UK? I'm going to put yes. Um, where, where can I be from? Job blogs. Where could you be from? Should we say Turkey? Let's put on Turkey. Okay. Did you take out any other products just a loan or overdraft at the same time? I'm going to put down no. Have you registered anything that came with the package bank account? I'm going to put down yes. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What can we put down? We can put down travel insurance. Next. I bet. Made a claim on any insurance that came with the package bank account. I'm going to put down nope. Have I ever benefited from better interest rate on an overdraft alone? I'm going to put down yes. I'll just put down alone. This is again, I repeat, it's just for showing you how to fill in a form, not to specifically use any particular answer that I'm giving. Uh, did you notice the package bank account fees in your bank statement? Nope. And do you still have the package bank account? Yep. Why have you kept the account? Please tick one of the following. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, more. Let's just pick this one. Okay. When you first had the package bank account, how often did you go on holiday? <clears throat> Excuse me. In UK and Europe, um, Mr. Job Logs has travel the world more than three times a year um, outside of Europe yep more than three times a year and how often did Mr. Job Logs do in sports I'm going to put down let's put down never okay next when you first had the package bank account did you already have any of the types of insurance with law you can select multiple options so would Mr. Job Logs would he have had I'm just for argument's sake I'm just going to put an ID for protection and travel insurance next did the <coughs> excuse me? Did the bank advise you to cancel any existing insurance cover when the account was open or graded? I'm going to put down no. Please confirm the following is correct. Before the completion of this questionnaire, I was not aware that the bank may not have followed the correct sales procedure for the sale of my package bank account. I am now aware I have the valid right to make a compensation claim in this matter. If this is a correct statement and you're happy with this, tick to confirm. And then we have here some of the points. There, press next. Okay. At the time you were sold the package bank account, did you 